As the clock ticks down to the recall election, Governor Gavin Newsom is promoting his efforts to tackle the homeless crisis, announcing billions in aid. Leading advocates say the money is a step in the right direction, but many questions remain. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is live in Universal City with the latest, Tom. Well, Juan and Pat, as you know, the governor is promising to spend billions to try and solve this problem. One thing he wants to do, of course, is clear out homeless encampments like the one just behind me here in Universal City. He says this is a huge problem and he will not give up. The investments we're making here today are the most historic. Governor Gavin Newsom continuing his campaign to try and get a handle on the homeless crisis. Today officially announcing billions in aid to be spread across the state to get people off the streets. The largest investments in mental health housing in California history. Newsom announced the state would make $10.3 billion in affordable housing available, $12 billion to tackle the homeless crisis, including mental health help, and $5.8 billion to add 40 2,000 new housing units. It was a renewed effort to take responsibility, to take accountability, and to recognize the urgency of the crisis. Newsom has been promoting this funding for several months. The additional resources can't come soon enough as the state is limping out of the worst of the pandemic. Reverend Andy Bales is the president and CEO of the Union Rescue Mission in Skid Row. I think there's a lot of people doing a lot of good things. There's outreach going on. I think we've awakened a bit to the crisis that we're in. We aren't there yet. Reverend Bales says getting mental health services to the unhoused is critical, and he has this advice. And you could do this in a much more uh, innovative and inexpensive and expedited way, and that is, uh, as I've said before, $10 billion would allow you to do $2 billion of land purchase and $8 billion would allow you to create 133,000 brand new three bedroom, two bath mobile homes. And I, I just hope they consider a more practical, uh, immediate way to, pro to provide a FEMA like approach. Anyone who lives or visits here in LA knows how bad the epidemic of homelessness has become. We just moved here from New York a year ago and uh, quite shocked by. What we're seeing, um, I, I'm glad they're doing something because um, it's upsetting. I think they need more boots on the ground, so to speak, to really, you know, get the right people to go out and talk to them. And, and a lot of them, it's like, even if you try to talk to them, like I know my husband and I have tried to drop off food, like leftover food to them, the ones who are on the sides of the freeways. And some of them, they don't even acknowledge you. So there's definitely got to be a lot of mental um, health issues that are going on. The governor was asked if pouring so much resources into addressing the crisis will incentivize more unhoused people from across the country to come here. To the extent that um, people want to come here for new beginnings at all income levels, that's part of the California dream. And we have a responsibility to accommodate uh, and enliven and inspire. Some of Newsom's recall opponents are already pouncing on this plan as too little too late. Remember, that recall is coming up in just less than two months, September 14th. Reporting live in Universal City, I'm Tom Wade. Back to you in the studio. Well, Tom, we heard Reverend Bale say that there's been some potential progress in addressing the homeless crisis, but did he mm -hmm. say just how strong that momentum is? Yeah, I mean, Pat, he's encouraging. We've talked to him so many times. You've interviewed him before. Yeah. He is encouraged, uh, as you heard there in the piece, about you know seeing progress and seeing people paying attention to the crisis. He says major keys to this, paying attention to addiction, trying to help people through that, counseling them through that, because without addressing that issue, you can't address the homeless crisis. The other thing he's really concerned about, and I think he's probably told you this in the past as well, but he emphasized it today. He's just worried that the Project Home Key issue with buying up hotels could be a problem yep. because some hotels just don't want to sell and, and those units can be expensive and his concern is just that that won't uh, you know contain the issue as much as it needs to and won't create as many units at a cost effective rate. Yeah, no simple fix to any of this. All right, thank you so much, uh, Tom White reporting for us there.